Hey guys, in this YouTube video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some super clear slime. So, let's just get into it. And, yeah, I hope you guys like it so you can make it yourselves. So, things you're going to be needing to make this, you're going to be needing um, some, like, glue. I just put mine in a container. Um, you're going to be needing, needing some glue. You're going to need some water. You're going to need a mixing tool. And for this, I'm just using a super old chopstick. You can use anything. You're going to need some contact lens solution. You're going to need some baking soda. You're gonna, And this part's optional, but I'm using some clear shower gel. Um, note on this, if you do use shower gel, you cannot use color type because it will color your slime and it will not be clear. It's mine is like a tinted pink, just a tad bit, and it is very clear. So the first thing that you're gonna want to do is put some glue in a container like I've already done here. Then you're gonna take your mixing tool, and I'm just gonna mix mine up a little bit. This part's optional; you don't have to mix it up, but I am. And then you're gonna want to add some water. This is just regular sink water. You don't need any special type. Because mine is just a regular old type. Just of a faucet water. The faucet water makes it extra stretchy. And it makes it the part that's very good and stretchy and clicky. So you can just mix that up. And then you can add the amount that you would like. I add about the same amount of glue or sometimes even more, but you can really add whatever you want. Um, and I know what you guys are gonna think at one point in the video, um, it's gonna turn white. Don't worry, it will turn clear. Um, but you just have to give it some time and then it will turn clear. So I'm adding a bit more water. I just want to get this to a good texture that I think I'm going to like when I'm done. And I don't think I mentioned this, but the type of glue you're going to need is clear glue because if you get white glue, it's not obviously going to be clear because it says white glue. So you're going to need clear glue in order for this to work. So I think I've got a, about enough water in it now where I'm at a decent consistency that I like. Now I'm just closing it up. And now I'm going to get my clear pinkish tinted shower gel. See, it's a very light, peachy, tinted shower gel, which is really good because you don't want it to be tinted hardly at all. And this is hardly tinted at all, which is perfect. And you can't tell if it's tinted. Like, I don't know if you guys can see there. I think you can, but it's not tinted at all. And the best part is it makes it smell whatever you use the shower gel. Um, whatever scent you use, it's going to make the slime smell like that, which is a bonus if you want your slime to smell super good because the contact lens solution and baking soda don't do anything to make it smell. So as you can see, it's still a really nice white color. It's a little more peach tinted, but it's still a decent white color. The next thing you're going to do is put in some contact lens solution. You're just going to squirt some in. There's no measurements that I use. I just guesstimate. I just squirt some in. Then I mix it up. You will see it's not coming together yet, which is okay because that's why you have the baking soda. It's not supposed to come together at this point. You just need to add some contact lens solution to your mixture. And then I recommend putting some baking soda into your hand and crushing up the chunks over this. That way when you mix it in, there will be no chunks in your slime. And then just begin to mix it in. As you can see, it's starting to kind of come together. 
and just keep doing that and you're going to need however much amount of baking soda you're going to need for your slime. So I'm just putting some baking soda in and I'm pinching it in, making sure there's no um, chunks. And then I'm going to add some more contact lens solution to the mixture. It's starting to come together a lot more. You guys can see and oh my gosh, this smells so good. I'm putting some more baking soda in. And you can buy baking soda and contact lens solution pretty much anywhere. I bought my contact lens solution at the commissary. You can buy your baking soda and contact lens solution at like Walmart. Um, it's very easy to find. And then just continue to do the same steps over and over again with adding the contact lens solution and adding the baking soda. Be sure there's no clumps in it. It's okay if they are, it'll still turn out, oh my gosh, there's a bubble. It'll still turn out the same. It's just better if you don't have any, like, chunks in it. And then continue to do these steps over and over again. As you can see, it's definitely starting to come together. Just continue to do this and it should eventually be good. And it should start turning into slime. As you can see, it's starting to turn into slime, and it's starting to turn into some really good slime. But what you guys are probably thinking right now, it's not clear, it's white. Yes, it's going to be white. You're gonna have to let it sit for a little while. Depending on how big your batch is, is how many days you're gonna have to let it sit. But it will turn into clear slime after you let it sit. Just going to take a bit longer than normal slime. And if you get it out and play with it while you're in the process of letting it sit, it will turn white again and you will have to let it sit for longer. As you can see, it's actually working super well. And it's still... A bit um, sticky, so you are still going to have to add everything like we have been doing. Add my baking soda. And we're going to set the rest right there. Keep mixing. It smells so good. I cannot get over how it smells. If you guys are wondering what type of shower gel I used, I used the One Moment One Direction shower gel. That smells amazing. As you can see, now I'm kind of getting in with it with my hands because it's not as sticky anymore. And then, oopsies, you can take it out of the container and you think it's almost ready. As you can see, it's really nice. It's just a bit sticky, obviously, because I haven't completely activated it yet. I'm adding some more, uh, some more baking soda to it to activate it more. I'm going to make sure you're doing this stuff little bits by little bits because you don't want to add too much and make it hard. It, it can stretch very well. But like I said, you are going to have to let this sit a bit in order for it to get the actual clear effect. I'm just getting the rest of the clear sun out of the container so I'm not wasting any. Oh my gosh, I cannot get over how good this smells. 
And once you let this sit, it will become a completely clear slime. And it will be very pretty because you'll be able to see everything. This is actually a decent amount of slime and it is pretty big. You're going to want to let it sit in a um, like airtight container so that way no air is coming in or out. And that would be the perfect type of container you would need. Oh my goodness, I just like, that just like swung across. That was really funny. So now I'm putting it back in the container and getting all the little pieces of slime that are on the inside out. And I don't know if it's just with your slime. I mean, if it's just with my slime, my slime always seems to thicken quite a bit. But then when I leave it in the container and take it out, it's very good. And yeah, so this was this clear slime, and I really will soon to be clear slime. And I really hope you liked the video. Um, if you did like it, make sure you give it a heart and subscribe to my channel if you want more videos. And yeah, so thank you so much. And I hope you can try this at your house and make your own clear slime. So thank you so much and bye.